Hey everyone, on uh, today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about rotoscoping and After Effects. Um, rotoscoping, kind of for lack of a better definition, is removing the background from your footage. Um, I'm using it to isolate an object, in this case this boat, um, <clears throat> so that I can add this title so it looks like it's actually coming from behind the boat. Um, and you can do this, uh, it, it's a process that's a lot like um, uh, the magic wand in Photoshop where you are um, basically telling the magic wand where you what you want in the footage and what you don't want in the footage and then removing the background from there but the roto brush is really really cool because it uses a lot of shape and motion information and color information to adjust the mat from frame the frame so I'll give you an example about what we're going to be doing and then we'll jump right in open this up this is from a recent shoot in San Francisco you can see how the title kind of comes out from behind the boat So now that we're back in After Effects, I'm going to take my original footage and just make a new composition and start from scratch. Drop it right there. And you can see that this is very long footage. But I want to start right about here. So I'm going to bring this in here. And because this is the whole five minute long video and I did all of this in post. So I'm going to go to bring these edges in. Probably don't even need that much. Maybe to here. Composition trim composition to work area so now we can see that's exactly about where we want to be at I'm gonna click on my footage and go command D and duplicate it press enter on the top one I'm gonna name this one Roto 2 and this one enter and name it back round 2 and I'm going to double click on this Roto layer Roto 2 and now I have it in a separate layer which is really nice and so I'm going to bring it right to right about here is where I want the text to start coming out. So I'm going to start my roto brush. The roto brush is right up here. And the roto brush is really, really awesome. So after you've double clicked and you've separated your footage into another layer, um, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing these edges out. Move in real close. Go around here. Up to there. Bring it down. And you can see that it's got this little pink outline going around the boat it's finding these edges I don't want that in there um, and now I kind of have a rough outline of the boat and one of the other things you want to teach the roto brush is what you don't want so if you hold option it you'll see the brush turns red and I want to say I don't want this over here I don't want this gray I don't want up here so I'm basically training the roto brush you know this is what I want this is what I don't want so then it can analyze and be more correct on a frame by frame basis so if I go ahead and I move forward with this by, go, by clicking enter you'll see that it starts to track this edge all the way around as oops and then it stopped, so I'm going to go because it couldn't find that last edge. Where is it? There we are. And I'm going to move forward again. Make sure it says I really, I really want this area. This is the important area. Make sure that it's getting up there. And so you get the gist of the idea is how when it starts to open up right here then I can add this text layer so if I go back to the composition and I make my background layer go away you see that I really have this rough outline cut up of the boat. Now there's a lot of different features um, that you can use. I like to use feather because it makes that edge a little bit smoother as you go. So bring that up you can see it kind of makes that edge a little bit nicer. Um, you, if you click on um, Refine Matte and check that box, uh, Refine Matte has a, a couple of really nice things. Basically what it does is it blends your edge. There's three main components. It kind of reduces chatter. Um, it detects motion blur. Um, there's not a whole lot of motion blur in this footage because it's pretty stable. But it also um, does decontamination, which is, um, which is really nice. Um, that, that just gets that really, that really tough edge out of there. So I'm going to smooth it out a little bit. So it looks nice and smooth. Got the feathering going. And see now we got something we can kind of work with. So now that I have that background layer, if I go ahead and I add a text layer to say right here, I said 
max. Oh, that's really big. I'll bring it down. Maybe not that much. Make it like 100. Oops. Highlight it. Put that on. And I'm going to bring this layer underneath the roto layer. So now it's appearing from behind the footage. Now you're kind of starting to see what we're doing here. Um, let me click P and, and bring it down a little, or bring it over a little bit, maybe bring it down. So as the footage goes, you can see that the text kind of begins to appear behind, and this is kind of the effect that we're going for. Um, and if you keep going long enough, that I'll go back to my other composition, so you can see that this is really how this was all done. Scrub through it. It doesn't look too pretty there, but when you add that background layer and it meshes all together, it gives a pretty clean little effect. And another thing you'll see in this footage, um, I have the two, this is the Maximus two is the name of the boat, and I kind of wanted a little extra uh, pizzazz, so I uh, made separate text layers for each of the Roman numerals, and then I did a position keyframing. You can see my keyframes are right here, so as it kind of goes through, they kind of shoot off into space, and there you, you can kind of see that. So, you know, there's uh, the sky's the limit with After Effects, um, but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, next week, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on 3D match moving using Cinema 4D, Buju, and After Effects. It'll be a really cool tutorial, so stick around for that. Um, this is Casey Baker, and thanks for watching. Yeah.